We now return to Let's Play Rogue States. Let's take a look at the newspaper. Bank error in on your favor gain 200 million real. Additional capital found under the mattress. Isn't that nice? Immigration and security policy amongst top concerns. Nationalism an increasing part of the Senji culture. And rally against apathy draws unsurprisingly small crowd. 15 people showed up at a venue booked for 6,000. Okay. Yeah, patriotism right now is a big deal, and so we need to m start making policy decisions based around the Patriots. Um, so I said at the end of the last episode I was going to go over here and start uh, looking at our military situation. However, I don't think I'm going to do that. Not just yet. We need to finish his request. Uh, that's kind of essential at the moment because his approval rating is... 45%. If we fulfill this for him, it will not only increase his approval, uh, which also helps me towards my loyalty points as he uh, as he goes green, but uh, for accomplishing his mission, I guess, his uh, request, we will hopefully also get a little bit of a bonus, and that bonus usually allows us to increase approval with a certain faction. So what I think I'm going to do... Um, Actually, we can we can use this time to call up our friends and, and have discussions. Well, I say friends. Let's look at the regional map here for a moment, uh, just to kind of get an overview of... Uh, okay, everything's green, so even though we've pissed some people off, they're still kind of indifferent towards me. Uh, let's go ahead and use this time to call these people, though, and see if we can't maybe talk them into some better relations. Thank you for taking my call. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to end the turn. Want to work to advance human rights and freedoms? Yeah, uh, that's not going to help. Interested in jointly funding with the United States development projects in your country? We cannot afford it. Well, I mean, we can. We totally can at the moment. But I have plans for all that money, so let's not do that. Let's call up another one. Let's call up uh, both of you. Thank you for taking my... <sighs> Now these were the guys that were uh, were safe, right? They felt they were safe. They so this would probably not be a good thing with them. Um, is our responsibility to govern in the street? No, 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 that will not work. Although, wait a minute, this was the one. I'm gonna have to read their encyclopedia again to remember because I don't remember. But uh, one of these enjoyed the old ways, but they were progressive. Uh, let's not risk it. Apologies. Let's not risk that one just yet. I wasted a turn. I need to read through this again. Because that's how my mind works. Okay. It's ruled the support of the U.S. and other Western powers. Uh, wait, that's totally not... There. Yeah, there we go. Considered one of the poorest, and now it's got industrial reforms, invivably wealthy. I don't know why that's so hard for me. Population small, concentrated in urban areas. Old ways are practiced, but there remain sizable Christian communities, Muslim communities, oil revenues. Okay. So yeah, they are active on the regional and world stage. They're big, big deal, but they like the old ways. So that's, uh, that's the thing to take away from them. Babelistan is the country that has uh, tourism, instability, and western yeah, non-confrontational in foreign relations, and they like the west. So, these guys though, independence from Great Britain, so they might not like the west. They mediate disputes in the Middle East and Africa, though. Okay. Well, I think, uh, let's go talk to Babelistan. See if we can't improve that. We can also have the ambassador from the U.S. come, but I believe before we can do anything more effective, we should really, uh, increase our relations overall. Um, we can just come and, and flatter them, but until we, until we get her, I mean, it's not always a her, uh, I believe she, the ambassador changes as well. 
Um, but until we get the U.S. relations up, we can't really do much else. Like, we can ask for foreign aid, but unless our approval is really high, we're not going to get it. They're just going to laugh in our face. So, let's just keep it safe. Find an ally. Thank you for taking... Spiritual leadership is important. We must also accept... Okay. Uh, glorify the old ways. Advance human rights. Counter-extremism. Uh, that was a thing with them, right? No, they're the ones that f who feel safe. So... Ah, oh boy. I don't know, though. This might have a negative impact if I say... Because we don't really have high human rights right now. That's uh, that's something that Tariq said. So if we say that, it might sound disingenuous. I think we're going to end the call here. Apologies, but goodbye. Yeah. There actually are many nuances like that in the game, which uh, is pretty interesting, actually. One of your trusted cabinet advisors was arrested yesterday for public indecency at an aquarium. It's only a matter of time before the media learns of this story. What should we do? Ah, nuts. So here's the first major decision that's going to impact, uh, well, some some factions. Two of them will impact cabinet loyalty, and uh, others will impact our factions down here. So relocating him to a labor camp lowers with the liberals, who are right now our highest supporters. Keeping him incarcerated still impacts the liberals. Uh, and brings down cabinet loyalty, which I really can't afford right now because we've got 40 and 50 percent approval with our cabinet. Or we can just have him released, and that'll decrease our fundamentalists, uh, but increase cabinet loyalty. And I do kind of plan to sway the fundamentalists a little bit more, so maybe this will be the thing to do right now. We we need our our cabinets, our power base, to uh, like me. Yeah. Took us, took us down about half. Well, a little less than half. Here we are. Uh, Abdulaziz acknowledges your success in growing the economy. We also get something from him. So let's go over here. And find out what we get. We get 15 approval with the capitalists. You know what? I may as well use that because uh, we need it. So, we're already up to 72% for no real reason. That's pretty damn good. So now, we can go in here and uh, have a look at how things are going, thanks to my policy and rather high taxes. Um, GDP is probably being affected, but rather than lower the taxes, I think, since everyone seems to have uh, gotten used to it, I think I'm going to, uh, to do what I can here by increasing some policies. So, what are the fundamentalists all about? Yeah, see, they don't really have many... Don't really have many things we can, can use right now. Fundamentalists are going to be the hardest to keep happy, I have a feeling. Let's, let's increase things just as we can get them and see how this affects... It lowers crime and corruption. This just lowers corruption. Capable is good for now. Let's do increased support. We kind of need support. Um, this I find to be a little bit unnecessary up until it gets to there, at which point we're spending 17. Uh, we're kind of lowering on our jobs. We're now increasing jobs with that. And we're doing nothing to help out the capitalists. And let's increase our our funding of disaster relief. Crime is okay. We're in the green on crime. We're safe, so we don't need to worry about that. This prayer week. Uh, eventually, we're going to want to turn that off, but we really can't afford to do that now. It will impact the capitalists. If I increase this... That affects jobs negatively. We've got two negatives on the jobs and one positive on the jobs. If I have prayer week is practiced, I was really hoping that was actually going to impact the capitalists a little bit better. We don't really need them up, though. They're our highest constituency right now. Um, this lowers labor. We've got one up on labor. So... Those are probably counteracting each other at the moment. Let's just keep that down. 
Actually, we can't afford to keep it down, can we? If we lowered the minimum wage, that would lower things with the liberals. And then we get exceptional schools, and that also increases UN relations. Good. I've managed to balance this effectively. Although, labor rights are still going down, and we've got nothing to counteract that. Labor rights are uh, attached to the minimum wage, the ability to unionize, and uh, this is de deeply going to affect the capitalists. So we can't really do that at the moment. Uh, for now, we're going to have to deal with this and hope that labor rights doesn't go down too much. Um, got two affecting corruption. Corruption's fine. We've now got one, two, three on social support. So hopefully that'll go up. And GDP, we've got two now that are going up. So hopefully that... Three. Three now. So hopefully GDP will also go up. We don't want this to be low, because if we ever have a worldwide economic crisis, that's really going to bite me in the butt. Crime is going up, but we've got two things on crime down, so really it's just the labor that I have to worry about. And by lowering or raising this, actually, and by raising this, I would positively impact that. I'd negatively impact the capitalists. The tree free trade zone increases jobs, whereas pushing it over is going to negatively impact jobs. So I, I believe there are also numbers behind this, that uh, behind the scenes, that kind of go up so we can get a bank to, uh, to work down on. So as long as my job numbers keep going up, eventually when I do switch my policies over to lower jobs, we can feed off of that and it's not going to affect us for a few turns, or a few quarters of a turn. Anyway, uh, speaking of which, the turns, I believe, are tied to a month. So I guess each one of these might represent a week. Anyway, we've got five years to turn this ship around. Uh, speaking of which, our uh, our approval from the parliament has stagnated at zero. That's not good. We need that to go somewhere. Let's bring in Tariq. Do I still have the confidence of our parliament? Our generals are concerned. Yes, we're vulnerable. So let's go deal with that. Now that we've still got some time and uh, some other things, international. How's the news from the poll? Fundamentalists are skeptical. Yeah, okay. So, yes, they are currently the lowest and they are below 50%, so I'm hoping we can turn that around. Uh, let's go, go over here, though. And uh, let's see what our strategic overview is like at the moment. So we've got one unit of infantry in our three sections. Let's see what we can buy. We've got a lot of money right now. Like, a lot of money. Um, I think for defense, tank brigades are definitely the best. Eventually what I would like are three tank brigades and a fighter squad. Um, I'm sure in order to engage war, especially on an international level, uh, well, I mean, what is war but international but I mean, against Western-supported powers, uh, we're going to need much more than just the four brigades. But you can see that the ongoing cost is going to be uh, prohibitive. So what I want to do is replace an infantry with a tank, which will only increase the cost by one million. Um, probably still have a, a bad impact. I mean, the cost is prohibitive. That's why it's in the red. It's got good defense, though. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy one of those. Now, eventually, I'm going to want to use that... Uh, once I get approval, <laughs> I'm going to want to use that uh, ability to use my loyalty points to purchase tanks and uh, replace my infantry that way, because this is otherwise rather expensive. So, the people who are not my friends right now look like uh, Tajikistan, and seeing how they seem to be the uh, military autocracy, they are probably the ones that we want to deal with. So, we're going to move the tank brigade over there. And we're just going to go ahead and disband these guys, because otherwise we cannot really afford to have more. Really, having one inland is probably also a good idea, um, especially with fundamentalism being a problem for us right now. We'll see if we can't lower that, and that we still need things, still need things to go my way. Let's actually make it back to the office and see if I can purchase infrastructure right now, or if I have to wait another turn because we need to have something to spend that on. 
Uh, oh, good, good. And we've got... We, we do have our textiles. Well, that's okay. Uh, but we've also got the electronics. Okay. Well, let's have a... Ah, uh, you know what? I should have bought the other one. Gambling is legal in Basenji, in spite of the fact the old ways condemn the practice as immoral. An American corporation, afraid the laws of Basenji may change under your leadership, are seeking to ex expedite the construction permit of a luxurious racetrack and casino in Basenji, which will bring new money to the country. This will likely upset our fundamentalists greatly. Yeah, it probably will. Um, it will, however, help us in the monetary sense, and uh, we kind of need that. However, fundamentalists are on the verge of being quite upset, so I think we'll just go ahead and deny it, and casinos will only intensify our problems. That's not really good. I mean, we... We might not be too bad off yet, because we do have quite a bit of a bank. Uh, we're not producing enough per turn, though, in income, so that's kind of a negative thing. Having these, obviously, would be would be great. I mean, having the profits reinvested in the economy would be fantastic, because we'd have GDP plus two, uh, but it would also... I mean, that, that's not what it correlates to directly, I don't think, but it would affect GDP more positively, and then uh, we'd have other income, and then, of course, the capitalists. But the capitalists are already on our side, and really, I guess I should check and see what portion of the population, but really, I think it's the patriots who are currently our biggest faction. We'll go ahead and deny it. Uh, the capitalists will go down a little bit. The fundamentalists will go up. And uh, let's go check the newspaper. Oh, well, here it is. It says they are increasingly identifying as capitalists, so that was not necessarily a great idea. Americans push casino on public. Religious leaders praise leaders' response. Economy, a meaningful concern for today's Basenjis. Jobs and taxes rated as the top priority. Okay. Haima is implementing highway mobile phone free lanes. New initiative aimed at drivers not using phones. Uh, actually, Patriots are still considerably larger than uh, the other factions, so we need to be pursuing patriotic and capitalist policies overall, I would say. Uh, especially since especially since that's becoming an issue. And we're still not getting much going on in the uh, parliament, which is not a good start. Um, right, well, let's go back into the infrastructure, and, uh, yeah, see, I could have just jumped right into this because I'd unlocked it, but as soon as I closed that, we went to the next turn. That was, uh, that puts us behind by a turn, not so great. Restorative justice system. The senior commanders of the former king's armies will trial for war crimes committed against the people of Basenji. This reflects the end of the introductory period. We'll go ahead and buy that, and we have the option of... Imprisoning the monarchists, the war is over and the people are weary of seeing their fellow citizens incarcerated simply for following the king's orders. However, this solution keeps the monarchists from filling your cabinet members with seditious thoughts and sings how the uh, the cabinet is not really on my side right now, it's probably a good idea to uh, imprison them. Otherwise, we offer them amnesty and it puts the past behind us, but who's to say what kind of threat a loyal monarchist could later pose to your regime? So let's put them in jail. I believe we will get time later to uh, to free them as an option. With the justice system in place, the wounds of the revolution can finally start to heal. Congratulations! You now have access to three new state infrastructure purchase categories. Yes. Okay, so we have security. We can start uh, doing things like riot police. Might be important. Crime, I don't believe, is a big deal right now. Might help if things go uh, poorly in unrest. A national defense doctrine, plus five Patriot approval. Probably a good thing. This will allow me to work my way towards an intelligence service, which will allow me to then gain intelligence on my neighbors. Uh, it'll also help me towards a counterterrorism unit. Uh, probably important. But right now, I think we need to work on focusing with our, uh, our infrastructure, our base, getting people happy so that they are healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, to that end... We can get uh, environmental policies. This will change some of the options for events. We probably want to start with a health policy, though. And the reason for that is because it's going to be very easy otherwise to be consumed by plague. Another thing we probably want to work on is trade and diplomacy. Uh, if I go down this route by getting sweatshops and uh, reverse engineering, that sort of thing, we can get money. But more importantly, I think is the route going through the regional summit, which increases relations with my neighbors, but we can also get a hotel, which gives us tourism, 
increasing relations and uh, capitalist approval, but both of those will lead to a global shipping giant, which is 15 million a turn when we've got capitalists on my side and improves the GDP. Now the thing is, we see here that there are these little uh, five uh, upkeep costs, so really it's going to cost me 10 to make 15 to get this. So really we're only going to improve by 5 plus the 3 here, so we, we increase by 8 is what that really means. But it also opens up the possibility of getting the stadium, which will improve Patriot and Capitalist approval by 10. So that's uh, that could be important. Patriots, again, being the biggest faction at the moment. I think we want to look at doing something with that. Getting Patriots on my side. Uh, who... Excuse me, Capitalists. We, we definitely want to do something with this, though. Uh, Capitalists or Liberals. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up this as a beginner. So, I have two options here. Two-tiered medical care, limited care socialized health system in place for all citizens with more rapid advanced health care made available to the public at cost. Increases capitalist approval per turn by one. It reduces Karifi support. Now, uh, I haven't really talked much about the Karifi being the uh, the minority religious faction. Probably want to, to do something to keep them on my side. Doing this, uh, however, the single-tier medical care system is going to increase my costs by 2 million, but it will give me 15 liberal approval. Might make liberals my biggest fans at the moment. However, they're also not the big faction. They're the smallest faction at the moment. Um, we really don't want to piss off the Karifi because they will go terrorist, and uh, that's not a great start. But at the same time, keeping the capitalists happy. See, by, by putting plus one on their approval, it means I can shift that around in the policies. But... Keeping people healthy is, I believe, more vital. We really don't want a plague to hit. Because then we have to solve it by basically spending all the way to the doctor. So I'm starting out much weaker than I was in the previous game. And I have a feeling it's to do with some of the early events we dealt with. Alright, we'll, we'll do this and uh, have that point. Probably not going to... Probably not going to help. Uh... Eventually, in the game, not to spoil it, uh, the Karifi will try to gain independence. And even though in my previous game that I was doing so well in, I had support out the wazoo, they still got independence from me by 61%. So, I'm not really concerned. What I'm really just concerned about is, is terrorism, but we'll have to put into uh, policy and infrastructure to sort of prevent that. But here we go. Okay, so that will be one, and let's go ahead. I could bump up Patriot and Capitalist approval with that. Um, textiles, right. So if I go down Sweatshop, I can trade. We don't have sheep, though, do we? We don't have access to the sheep. Because that's what's going to get me the uh, the cashmere stuff to increase. This will also cost me 5 in upkeep right now. I might want to go 10 relations. That might be something. We have to go that way anyway. Um, doing environmental policy would also be good. I mean, I've got the money. Okay, we'll go foreign service and regional summit. Increasing my neighborly relations, which will help. Um... And then, boy, I really ought to to focus down on that. But if we go Wildlife Refuge, that's Patriots and Liberals. Let's just go ahead and unlock this while I've got the money. I really should probably unlock this as well. Um, protectionist, keeping the wildlife of Basenji beautiful safe or increasing my capitalists again and giving myself income by exploiting the riches of the country. I think we'll probably want to go protectionist. This actually seems to have more approval with more people when we have different options, so we'll go that way. Now, doing this immediately is going to hurt myself. If I buy this, that's 50, that's going to eat up my revenue. It's also going to take away 5 per turn on my income. 
probably not a great idea. Let's actually save that, and let's hope that uh, people don't get sick, because that's gonna, gonna suck otherwise. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll just save this. I'm gonna go into trading. We're gonna find someone to trade with. Yeah, we're gonna need goats to make something happen there. Otherwise, we're gonna need... There's that media and then spice to get fundamentalist approval. Patriot approval with the ore, the metals. But we'd also have to get plastics. Those are kind of probably pricey at the moment. Let's actually look at that. The, uh, the metals are, are actually dipping down. They're starting to plateau a little bit. Plastics are quite high. Spices are going up. Goats are cheap. They've rebounded a bit, but goats are cheap. We might want to try and get goats. Um, and I definitely don't think I want to change anything with my... I mean, I could lower this to get approval, but we're going to hurt for, for a lot there. I mean, that takes me down two. <laughs> two million. So let's not do that. Okay, let's... Oh, really? Really? Because I turned it down and then turned it back up, it counted as an action? That that sucks. But, uh, whatever. Okay, Babelistan. Oh, good, they've got goats. Great. Um, you know, we might actually want to wait until I unlock the, uh, the textile, or the sweatshops. Because otherwise, having the bonus is not going to impact me particularly well at all. Um... I believe the, uh, I'm sure there are other factors dictating the price that they will give you for goods, but I believe that uh, the approval of the country also impacts what they will buy them for. So let's go ahead and talk to Babelistan. Thank you for let's discuss issues, see if we have anything and we can uh, do a common ground. Uh, United Nations. This is the one who liked the, the West, right? We believe the UN, the, 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 the UN will be essential to preventing conflicts in our region. We believe the United Nations is essential to preventing conflicts in our region. We believe strongly in the original intent behind the United Nations to foster cooperation in solving the international economic, social, cultural, and humanitarian problems that face us all. Good, good. Okay, so let's go discuss trade now. Uh... We would like to sell you garments. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji garments? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree on. And you can see over there that there is a very mild upswing. Uh, they will pay 100% of the market rate. Okay. We'll sign off on that. So now we have 11 million a turn there. Let's see if we can't also do electronics. Electronics are totally up on the upswing, and they'll pay a lot better. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji electronics? Taking into account... Yeah, yeah. Only 96%, but still, that's 19 million. That's not bad. Okay, I think we can end the call. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. End of turn. Here we go. The UN has passed a landmark agreement requiring all states to cap carbon emissions at present levels with exception to China, India, the United States, and Burkina Faso, presumably because somebody forgot to add them to the list. While imbalanced, this agreement is anticipated to have demonstrable impact to climate change. If we ratify it, we piss off the capitalists, but the liberals like me, or we can ignore it, the liberals will much not like me. <laughs> much not. Uh, but the capitalists will. Now, seeing as how the capitalists presumably are still the big faction right now, I think it might be wiser to do that. So we'll ignore the treaty. Um, what was that? It looked like there was something that was going to pop up there. Let's go... Oh, wow. Everybody hates me now. What? That's not fair. Let's look at the newspaper. Cape Town Accord passes at United Nations. Basenji refuses to sign on, noting the resolution is unfair. Uh, income tax increases are temporary, yeah, so... Patriots and capitalists, yeah. So, even though we pissed off the liberals a bit, still not uh, that big a deal. However, 
We're still having major issues getting Parliament on my side, which I... I'm not a fan of. Uh, this should be going up. We need to begin making some policy changes that are going to improve Parliament. Actually, let me have a look here. We've got a capitalist, a fundamentalist, and a liberal. So we've got three different factions under under that. Uh, so we need to actually make them a little bit happier. Uh, yeah, his approval went down. So because of, you know he's a liberal and we just uh, hurt the liberal faction. Capitalists, however, went up. Okay, well, I feel that I am struggling just a little bit more than I should be. However, 40 million a turn. Uh, this should no longer be a problem where we need finances. I could probably start lowering my taxes to gain a little bit of approval. That would probably help and be a good thing. However, we do want to keep this fairly high, uh, just because we are going to need lots and lots of, uh, of money, mostly for infrastructure, but also, I think going towards the military. Um, I mean, if we're not, if we're going to struggle this much with Parliament, <laughs> and we can't get those bonuses, then uh, that's going to be, be a problem. But anyway, I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you next time.